So I got out of the army in 2008. Um, at the time I was suffering with undiagnosed post-traumatic stress disorder. Life was just you know, pretty down the pan and couldn't really turn it around. Didn't have a, didn't have a full, never had a full-time job or just made cash and then I worked for myself because that's all I could cope with. Uh, and then I walked into uh, this building here in Weymouth and my boss Brian was, was sat there, my boss at the time, now was sat there recruiting people who want to go and help people over 50s get back into work. And I thought that I couldn't do much, but as soon as he offered us a pint and a, and a meal to find out a bit more, I was you know, all over it. So, uh, and then never looked back since. I used violence, alcohol, um, and just isolation. I think to that—that that was what—that was how I coped. That's how I got through it. Um, which obviously doesn't serve you because got in trouble with the, the law, went to prison, um, constant you know depression and, and almost just the ripple effect. Obviously, one one bad thing was leading to the next one to lead to the next, and if I felt bad before I did something stupid and went out and got into a fight or got in trouble, then I felt even worse because I had a court case coming up and then I had a fine to pay and didn't work, and couldn't get any work. And I realised that what I'd been doing was blaming everything else. So I blamed Iraq, I blamed the army, I blamed the government, I blamed everybody around me. It was always somebody else's fault. I blamed the person who I, I beat up or something because it was their fault that they did this. And then when I realised to, to take that responsibility back, that empowered me to change and to choose a different response. I think we're all born with it, but we stop trusting it. And for, for, for one reason or another, you know, we've got that knowledge, we've got that, we know what to do in the back of our minds, but for some reason we're not doing it. And I think it's, Active Plus has definitely helped me find it again. And the, the, and the importance, the, the actually importance of being self-aware. Because maybe before you'd ask me what self-awareness, I wouldn't have a clue. But now I know, and I know that that's the, that's the start of it. And I think if you're aware of something, especially a problem, you're, you're more capable of changing it. Just being aware of, aware of it initially, and then aware of yourself and how you can react to it and move forward. Before I used to limit it, and when I was learning these new skills, I'd hide it from people, and I wouldn't be so positive. But then I think I'm not. All I'm doing is feeding their negativity, or feeding other people's. Um, so I definitely look at instead of just positive and negative, I look at proactive and reactive. And and by being pro, by being proactive, it's given me more positivity, and it's actually putting a positive spin. Because I think there's no sort of good or bad. It's say something happens in life. It's what you. Um, it's how you react that matters. You know. So sometimes people say, Ash, you know, I can't get any positives out of this situation. No matter how hard I try, I've listened to everything you say. But then I say, not everything, sometimes things happen really bad and we can't take positives from it. But it's easier to look within and say, how can I react to it? And how, how can I respond to it in a positive way? I think it gives them another way, another option. Something that, I think belief as well, because you're looking at people and they've done things, or well, they've been through things in life and they think, never going to turn around, that's it's done. And maybe a common misconception like um, PTSD or you're never going to get better and this is all you're going to do is learn to live with it. But I, I say it all the time that I don't think recovery is a, is, a, is a destination, I think it's a journey. And journeys can get better. And if you learn to be able to scope that journey and you learn to be able to be the, be the driver of your own vehicle if you like and, and point it in the direction you want, you've got a much better life than just thinking, well this is it, I'm stuck with this now. I'm never get any better. I quite hand on heart say I don't know if I'd be here because it got so much to the point of where everything I touched just fell apart and then it's not long before you do that and you start to fall apart yourself and, and you know things come in your mind and other options come in your mind and I think you know it, it is it is a reason this is definitely one of the main things that, that I'm still here today because I think even with the best in, intentions if you've got a loving family no matter what but if you're all that suffering you, you, you can think to yourself I'm just hurting other people so the only way to stop that is by
maybe hurting yourself, but it's not, it's not true. It's just learning to accept the fact that things have happened and that it's not always going to be your future. You can turn it around.